God intervened there. But uh, they were saying the same thing to me, you know, we'll, say, we'll believe uh, your king when he, uh, when he actually acts. And this is a man uh, who I think uh, must be a very happy man because he's not attached to his throne. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes, Srija. Um, so, two questions. Um, one, uh, you were in the international negotiations for so long. One, did this uh, whole concept ever feature in during the negotiations and did you feel that this ever moved anyone in the negotiations if uh, if even for a little while and the second thing is have you had people uh, or dignitaries from different countries wanting to replicate such a concept in their country even if it in in principle if it's difficult to implement it but did you have people coming up to you and saying i want to try it out for my country yeah. uh to answer your first question uh, small countries in bhutan like bhutan are never a part of the negotiations. We are only told about it later, what has been negotiated for us. <laughs> and, uh, and there is arm twisting goes on. And we are uh, arm twisted. Uh, let's say I was leading my delegation to, talk, uh, to the Kyoto Protocol. I was, did not want to sign the Kyoto Protocol because it gave me nothing. And it gave everything to all the other countries. But I had to give in because we were a part of the G77 group, and so that was it. So we're never involved in, the, in this negotiation process. We're only told much later, and we have to learn from other people what's being negotiated. And, uh, and when we do go, they say, don't worry, your interests are being taken care of. Shut up now. <laughs> uh, about the concept of gross national happiness, it's, I mean, there are people like uh, who would like to uh, uh, go with it, but it's it's not all, it's not that easy as every. It's nice. It's a nice goal, cross national happiness, you know. But it's it's a goal like it's as you come nearer it, nearer it, it keeps going further away. As as uh, the political scenarios, financial scenarios, education scenarios change, focuses start changing. So we may be talking about gross national happiness in one context today. In five years' time, we'll be talking about gross national happiness with a totally different focus. So this time, it may be environment and climate change. And in another, another uh, five years' time, it'll be uh, how should we uh, utilize our beaches. Yes, Morning. Professor Mori. Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> Uh, I, I think uh, Junta today uh, mentioned uh, this prosperity without growth, uh, rather than growth without prosperity. And uh, in Japan also, we haven't had uh, hardly any economic growth in the last uh, 20 years or so, mm -hmm. very uh, economically uh, not really uh, growing. And, uh, and also our population is aging very rapidly. Mm -hmm. So uh, something, you know, completely new ideas uh, for development uh, has been discussed. And I think uh, it seems that uh, emphasis is more placed on quality rather than quantity. Yes. Uh, not really at the amount of money, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe how it is spent or yes. something like that. Uh, I think uh, that may have a lot to do with uh, this idea of uh, happiness, perhaps. It's about quality, not quantity. And uh, uh, also, uh, it's perhaps an individual <coughs> uh, and uh, some kind of social uh, uh, you know, element uh, is very important. You said uh, if uh, your neighbors uh, are in trouble, you are not happy. That indicates this uh, social aspect. Uh, that is you know, something very, very <coughs> important when we talk about happiness, perhaps. But uh, when you know, the world is now very much uh, governed by market-based economy, mm -hmm. that's a uh, capitalism. Basically, you know, capitalism uh, promotes competition. 
The competition means uh, if your neighbors are, you know, less than you, uh, you know, uh, uh, happier than you are, then you feel happier, yeah. right? Yes, <laughs> and uh, the, therefore this system, capitalism system, may be very much against uh, this you know, uh, concept of happiness, the happiness that can be shared with your neighbors. So. Just, uh, you know, I'd like to uh, know your views on this, you know, some kind of um, uh, conflict, potential conflict with uh, the capitalist system. Professor Mori, you're taking advantage of me. I'm an ignorant man who doesn't know his economics. <laughs> but no, uh, people in, in Japan, people are looking towards cross-national happiness, the concept, because it is the older generation which has put in time. And they would like their children to give them respect and time, just like this little girl I uh, read about mentioned. You know, they, I think it's, they want a little bit of payback time. I think that's why they uh, like to accept this, uh, uh, because it talk, uh, gross national happiness talks about respect for teachers, respect for your elders. Uh, a lot of cultural values, uh, family values. These are things which I think, even in Bhutan, we're having problems now with family values. Because of the housing system has changed. There was one time when the family lived as a complex together as a unit. It is now changing because the capital is growing and most of the people have come to urban settlements and then they're starting to live just like we do it anywhere else in the world. Bangkok, New York, London, wherever. And the family st uh, structure is being broken up. Uh, uh, we have to also look out for this to make sure that we do not lose these social values. They're very, very important, I think. About our neighbors and all, it's, it's, oh, somebody said, if you pray for other people, it's very good because the goodness or the uh, uh, thing will come back to you. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Doji. Uh, a couple of uh, observations and questions. Um, first, uh, it was interesting to see how you used the gross national happiness and, and its, its pieces, components, to talk about a looming stress in terms of climate change. Mm -hmm. So you, you talked about the climate change as a stress and, the, and then you referred to how it would impact on, on, on different uh, elements of, of gross national happiness and and I thought that was really striking to me as, as sort of illustrating one of the importance of of a set of measures at a high level that reflect well-being or happiness in, in whether it's a country or a community or a state because uh, it helps have a conversation and do some analysis on on things that 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 could stress uh, that particular those those goals that a society might have and I'm wondering if you might comment a bit on uh, on does that gross national happiness help you have conversations about uh, uh, things that are happening within Bhutan and extern internally and externally um, and, and share with with the group that um, so that's the first part uh, the second part um, I'm seeing a lot of uh, there is a, a fairly growing trend on the development of, of community quality of life information systems or community well-being, measuring community well-being. Um, and those, the communities that are pursuing and implementing those types of systems are going through the process of trying to vision and articulate what are their, what is important from an, uh, the perspective of well-being and then deciding how to measure it. And communities often and frequently cite and, and, and the gross national happiness process and, and concept in Bhutan as, as sort of uh, aspirational sort of uh, uh, level to, to sort of uh, to strive toward. And uh, I think it, it's interesting to, to see that as, a, as an important element uh, appearing at the community level and uh, to, to describe well-being. And uh, I'm wondering if you're seeing sort of a, a similar trend, I guess, for other national governments to really have a, a nice, concise look at uh, some high level. Is the gross national happiness sort of spreading in terms of uh, thinking at a national level? I think it exists everywhere in the world. Whenever communities bond and they get together and work, you saw the miners in Chile, sunny bonding, that's gross national happiness for them. 
You know, they're all getting together. Come on, you know, that spirit.